You've also said that MMA is the most pro-woman sport in the world. It's true. Why? Why are why, why you so convicted to that? Why? Because for the first time ever, there's no distinction between men and women in a sport. There's WNBA, there's women's tennis, there's all these W's everywhere. And uh, just uh, a few months ago, women were introduced into the octagon for the first time just as, just as bantamweights. Mm -hmm. There was no need to put the women in front because they don't say men's bantamweight division, why do they have to say women's? And it's the first sport in the world to completely eradicate the, um, the separation. And so when the women are introduced in their titles, I'm, I'm the UFC bantamweight champion. I'm, I'm not the UFC women's bantamweight champion because um, the guys aren't the, the UFC men's bantamweight champion. So they totally got rid of it. And it's the only sport in the world to do that. We talk about separate but equal, but, you know, having even mentioned the Floyd Mayweather fight, they walk away with, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars at stake. You being at the, at the height of your sport, maybe make, what, a, a million dollars at most per fight? Does that anger you, and what can we do to change that? Uh, I don't like to talk about exactly how much money I make, but I'm extremely comfortable and happy. You are? Yes. Okay, so... And, uh, you know... If I got to a point where I had almost 50 fights, I would probably be making close to the same amount of money that Floyd does. But at this point, I have 11. So <laughs> I can't expect it to be exactly um, equal yet, I don't think. I have to put more time in. And what are some of the misconceptions for viewers at home that you